And happening now, it is opening day for the 2015 Travelers Championship. The golf tournament is the largest professional sports event in Connecticut, and it's a hot ticket every summer. And as always, Travelers will be played in Cromwell. And that's where we find News 8's Kent Pierce with more on what we can expect in the days ahead. Hey, Kent. Hey, Brian. Not a whole lot going on right now. Still a lot of setup going on for the days to come. The days in, to come include we got the family day tomorrow. We got the pro am on Wednesday. Tournament play starting on Thursday. But a couple of hours ago, things kicked off in style with the great kickoff for the Travelers Championship. Three, two, one. With those tee shots, the Travelers Championship is now open. One of the guys swinging a club there is Chase Scrubus. He's 15 years old and runs a golf charity. My charity is Clubs for Kids, and I take in used clubs, and I cut them down, put new grips on, and provide them to kids who are in need of them uh, who can't afford them. His is one of more than 100 charities supported by money raised at the Travelers. You know, this tournament last year generated uh, $1.58 a uh, uh, million dollars for local charitable organizations. Now this golf tournament under various names has been raising money for charity for years, but now it's called the Travelers Championship and Travelers actually re-upped as a title sponsor. This is year one of a 10-year sponsorship agreement. As you can see by this investment, Travelers is not going anywhere. We love Connecticut, we love what happens here, and we love the, the, the pride that everyone has with the Travelers Championship. <laughs> From military appreciation to family day to the Pro-Am, today marks the beginning of a full week of events with tournament play starting Thursday. And the great coverage that is provided does, spends a fair amount of time talking about not just the quality of the play, not just the quality of the course, but also the quality of the state uh, in which this tournament uh, takes place. And the tournament shows how golf can better quality of life. Chase sees that every time he hands out golf clubs. I take out clubs and I give them to kids right at the course and I get to see their expressions on their face and how happy and excited they are to try my passion. And a lot of people around here share that passion. In fact, ticket sales for the Travelers up almost 20% from last year. That's good news for the tournament and good news for all those charities, too, because there's no owners, there's no shareholders to pay off for this event. All of the proceeds go to those charities. We're live in Cromwell. I'm Kent Pierce. Brian, back to you. All right. Thank you, Kent.